Hello everybody, welcome to The Geek Sandbag, coming to you from somewhere in the middle of nowhere. I hope you're keeping well. Today I'm going to be pulling this out of the bag to take a look at. It's the new canine figurine from Robert Harrop. So let's start as we always do by taking a quick look at the packaging, which is the typical Harrop style with its nice big bold logo on the front. In the nice big diamond in the middle it says Who29, which I think means it's the 29th piece in the Harrop Doctor Who range. K9 from 1977, The Invisible Enemy, K9's first story. It's a limited edition of 250 pieces from the Fourth Doctor era, 1974 to 1981. And on the top of the box we've got another little diamond sticker which tells us we've got number 230 of the 250 made. And that my friends is pretty much it for the packaging, so let's set him free. Ta-da! Here he is, and wow he looks great! He's quite a nice size actually, I wasn't sure how big or small he'd be and he's got a nice big thick base, a little bit of protective polystyrene on the tail there, just get rid of that. Yeah, he looks really good. I always think of Canine as being very grey but there's lots of nice colours going on here which really brings him to life. Just give him a quick spin, you can see the front there. A friend of mine said that he thought the ears might have been too big, a little bit out of proportion but I think they look fine, I don't think they're too big at all. Just turning it round to the other side and he really looks good. I can already see just from first impressions that the paint apps and shading on him look fantastic. Taking a look at the head sculpt and there's some nice detail going on, we can see his little laser gun at the front there, the antennae and of course his light which flashes in the series and they've painted it a bit darker either side there to give that effect so that looks really good. Just below the head you can see the little handle that he was sometimes picked up by and his little name tag. The side panel on the Mark 1 version of the K9 was slightly different to what we saw later on in the series so they've painted that correctly and it looks as it did in The Invisible Enemy. Turning it round we've got K9 written on the side of course and they've painted it in a slightly lighter colour, almost silver, which really makes it stand out and looks great. I've always really loved this little control panel on top of K9 and the paint apps look really good considering they're hand painted, they're very clean and neat. The collar also looks really nice, in fact it reminds me a little bit of the 4th Doctor's scarf. Because I'm quite a clumsy person that has a habit of dropping everything, I was a little bit worried about how fragile the tail was going to be on this figurine. Actually it's quite thick, so as long as he's handled with care, it shouldn't damage too easily. As I said he comes on a nice thick base and they've kept it very simple which works well, and I really like the colour scheme they've gone for on that because it really helps the figurine to stand out. On the base of the figurine we've got a nice piece of protective felt and a sticker which has got a handwritten number on there showing us it's 230 of the 250 pieces made. So K9 is 3.75 inches tall or 95 millimetres if you prefer which does make him in scale with the 4th Doctor figurine by Harrop. Unfortunately I don't have the 4th Doctor but I do have the second. Oh Jamie K9 there you are and uh, yes as you can see he is in scale and he does look really good. Wouldn't it have been great to have seen an adventure with these two together? And of course he comes with his certificate of authenticity which is numbered which has a nice description of K9's first story on the back. And pause now if you want to read what it says. I'm such a huge fan of K9. As a kid I absolutely loved him and I desperately wanted to own one. Of course over the years there have been many toys released which is great but I was particularly excited when Harrop announced they were going to be releasing their own version of him because as you know I'm a big fan of the Harrop figurines and I think they've done a great job with this one. I really am pleased with him. I think he looks great. And so K9 takes his rightful place alongside all the other beautiful figurines in my ever-growing Robert Harrop collection. Affirmative! So if you ordered this figurine from the Robert Harrop website it would have cost £65 plus postage but I have a sneaky feeling they've all sold out now. But do check out the Robert Harrop website, I'll put a link in the description below and you'll be able to keep up with all future releases. Next up is a clockwork soldier from the second Doctor story, The Mind Robber. He looks absolutely gorgeous. Followed in the new year by a mutt creature from the mutants and I've seen an early sculpt of that. And again, it's looking like it's going to be another great figure. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do check out The Geek's Handbag on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. As well as that, I do a weekly Doctor Who podcast with Gary that goes out every Friday called The Big Blue Box Podcast. So give that a listen. And until the next time, guys, take care of yourselves. Bye bye!